hello students welcome back to all so in this video i'm going to explain about the formation of oxygen molecule let us see how the oxygen molecule will form so we know oxygen atomic number is 6 and its configuration is 2 and 6 which means in the outermost shell it containing only 6 electron to get the octet configuration it requires 2 more electron right so now who contributes two electrons to the oxygen atom to get octet configuration so therefore take another oxygen atom same it is also containing two comma six electrons which means in the outermost shell it containing six electron to get octet configuration it is also requires two more electrons if suppose the two oxygen atoms comes close together so what happened each oxygen atom so this is one oxygen atom and this is another oxygen atom when the two oxygen atoms comes close together what happened let us see so this is first oxygen atom so it is containing six electrons two four and six electrons take another oxygen atom so this is second oxygen atom it is also containing two four and six electrons when the two comes close together each oxygen atom is contributing two electrons in each case so this is first oxygen atom it is contributing two electrons take another oxygen atom it is also contributing two electrons so like this if the two oxygen atoms contributing two electrons in each case so the first oxygen atom getting octet configuration by sharing all the electrons in the second case also the second oxygen atom also getting octet configuration by sharing all the electrons which means here the two bonds will be formed so this is called double bond which means in the oxygen molecule there will be a double bond is there so the two bond two bonds are there and the two bonds are covalent bonds only so like this the oxygen molecule will be formed and let us see uh, either the bonds will be sigma bond or pi bond and how many sigma bonds will be there and how many pi bonds will be there let us see so now oxygen atom so it's electronic configuration is 1s2 2s2 2px2 2py1 and 2pz1 take another oxygen atom and its electronic configuration is 1s2 2s2 2px2 2py1 and 2pz1 so here in the two cases the last two electrons are participating in the bond formation because uh, each oxygen atom is contributing two electrons only which means the last two electrons only participate in the bond formation so in the first case the 2py and 2pz and the second case also 2py 2pz and now so let us draw the 2py orbital and 2pz orbital of the first oxygen atom so uh, this is 2py orbital and this is 2pz orbital of first oxygen atom let us draw this is 2py orbital and this is 2pz orbital of the two oxygen atoms so this is oxygen atom and this is also oxygen atom so in each case the p orbital containing 2py orbital so this is 2py this is 2pz so this is also 2py 2pz so each orbital containing 1 1 electron in each case so when the overlapping takes place which means the py orbital of the first oxygen atom is overlapping py orbital of the second oxygen atom so here is the 
overlapping is there so in between 2 py 2 py orbitals there is a sigma bond is there because the 2 p 2 py orbitals are overlapping along the internuclear axis right so along the internuclear axis there exists a sigma bond between the 2 py 2 py orbitals of the oxygen atom and here the remaining 2 pz orbitals are overlap laterally so there exists a pi bond between the 2 pz 2 pz orbitals of the oxygen atom because uh, uh, these 2 pz orbitals are perpendicular to the internuclear axis so that is why here lateral overlapping is takes place in between the 2 pz orbitals so that is why here pi bond is there so oxygen containing double bond double bond means one sigma bond and one pi bond sigma bond is between the py py orbitals of the oxygen atom and pi bond is between the pz pz orbitals of the oxygen atom so like this the oxygen molecule will be formed so oxygen having double bond o2 molecule is formed like this so this is what the formation of oxygen molecule so there exists one sigma bond between the py py orbitals of the oxygen atom and one pi bond between the pz pz orbitals of the oxygen atom so this is today class students uh, if you want more videos like this please subscribe my channel thank you